it's Deb with Goddess of the Moon Tarot. I hope that you guys are doing well. I hope that this reading finds you safe. All right, shout out to my Soul Tribe members that are Librans. Also, if you are new here and you've been resonating with the tribe, please don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, share. Also, hit the post notification bell on the way out. I definitely appreciate the energy exchange from you guys as well. All right, let's see what's going on, Libra. Vision, quest, seek. Become your authentic self. Get to know the truth of who you really are and what you are capable of. Don't measure yourself by the deeds or words of others. Your voice must be heard. Don't follow the crowd. You are entitled to your own preferences and opinions. Speak up. Okay. And then you guys had fire passion underneath here. I just did Aquarius and they had fire passion. Interesting. So your fire and passion is gonna drive you okay and also your vision okay you already have a vision for what it is that you want to accomplish so go after that go after that vision also libra i am open for personal so if you are interested in personal go ahead and check out the description box there's instructions on how to book a personal with me instagrammers i do have an instagram page if you would like to follow go ahead and hit up the link all right that's one more shuffle. Princess of Dis. I can't, we can't get away from this Princess of Dis energy. Princess of Dis to me is like, um, someone's that's still starting out in life. They haven't completely figured out their way. They're still learning how to use their finances. So a lot of times they're can like codependent energy so they need someone to help them okay all right so we're starting off with the three of swords ten of swords five of wands the moon nine of discs the world and the two of swords so Libra somebody feels heartbreak broken with the three of swords somebody feels heartbroken somebody feels betrayed somebody feels like there was a harsh ending to something it could be you because these are your elements okay but it could also be someone outside of you it could be this princess of this maybe a Capricorn Taurus Virgo but this person was in competition with you or this person was trying to put you into a competition, one of the two. This person probably had a lot of secrets and they probably did not tell you the truth in a lot of situations, depending on what your situation was with this person. I feel like right now you're very independent. You're very abundant, okay? The birds talk to you. <laughs> But I feel like you got a lot of things going good for you and you're in a totally different cycle. Your vision is set on the prize, okay? And you, also you have the protection of the universe behind you. I feel like this person didn't see this coming. Possibly this person underestimated you because the two of swords is here. Let's see, what's the three of swords? Four of wands. Yeah, this was someone that was supposed to be a part of your happiness at one point. It might have been someone that you considered a partner, okay? But this person is now going through heartbreak. They probably even in, put another person in the mix. Like I said, with the five of wands, they probably had another pe person depending on them while they were depending on you. So it was draining your energy. Yeah, so we got the queen of wands. So it's like you got somebody coming in that's going to be confident and on your level. What's the ten of swords? Ooh, the high priestess. Okay, so your intuition is on point. I feel like you're definitely getting intuitive messages. Your vision is on point. Your third eye is on fire. Okay. The hangman. This is get, causing someone to feel stuck because the ten of swords is out. So it's like someone is hurting because 
you have enlightened yourself and you have seen through all of the BS that they try to put you in. They try to put you as a sacrifice, but now they are a sacrifice with the head man. Yeah, you're in hermit. You don't got nothing to do or say to these people or this person. What's the five of wands? Tower. Yeah, it's been broken down. This situation has been broken down. Look at that. And the five of cups came out. So it's like, ooh, the sun card wanted to show your happiness. Wow. How the cards just came out like that. Your happiness is making someone feel regretful and it's causing a tower moment. So things are being broken down in their life. They're losing things. They can't keep stuff because of the, the secrets that they were holding. They were trying to lie to you and in turn, basically, they just destroyed what it was that they could have had. What's the moon? Two of Wands and the Ace of Swords came out. So the Divine had to tell you the truth. You got a dream, you got a premonition, you got something that directed you to what it was that they were doing, what they were saying or what they were doing behind closed doors. You got the clarity on it and now you have chose to go down a different path. What's the Nine of this? You're already doing financially well or if you're not, you will be. Princess of Cups. They got a messed up heart chakra, okay? Somebody, basically, they did not decide to heal themselves. So they're trying to put a hurt on you because they're jealous of what you're doing, Libra. The Six of Divs, the Ace of Divs, and the Sun came out. Wow. Wow. So. You got some someone that's gonna come in and give you an even give and take because you actually are showing love for yourself. So remember, don't take anything less than what you deserve. Once you do that, you're gonna get this ace of this. So that's the ten of this. So you'll be able to start a legacy with this particular person. So if it's someone that's coming around you and they're not willing to do and give equal, like an equal give and take, cut it out. You should have happiness. Okay, so. For whatever pain and suffering you went through, happiness is now your reward. The world card is right here. It's protected. All this purple energy. Plus, you had the high priestess come out. It, it, it's a it's a wrap. As long as you stay connected to your higher self, you won't have to deal with this hurt person that's hurt. Put a boundary up. Exactly. The seven of wands. Put a boundary up. Because you don't want to be looked at as the fool. Okay. What's the world card? told you the lovers you got a lover coming into this new cycle with you this person is definitely on the same um, level as you uh, and they're willing to put in the work as well they're going down the same path wow look at that two of cups this is a new love okay so someone that you've never been with but they're a soulmate they're a counterpart to you what's the two of swords Ace of Wands, new beginning. You, you guys are holding this rod together, standing in agreement, having creativity also. So the vision, they're probably having visions as well. Look at this past person, Nine of Swords. They have mental problems, okay? I'm gonna just put it like this. This is whoever this past person was, they need to go and get some help because a Nine of Swords means someone that is mentally disturbed, okay? And they probably are... Um, suicidal that's what i'm hearing because we got the, they came out on a two of swords and that's over like that's overkill because that's more than 10 of swords that's 11 so this person is like kind of chaotic in their mind so stay away from them they're liable to do some things that are not very savory okay so be careful libra let me get you a gym
Okay, Greg Cornelian in number one. Okay, so this is Fire and Sun, and then this is the Solar Plexus, and then there's the Yoga Pose, which just looks like standing up, basically. Standing straight. Okay. At this time, our life seems to be a battleground. We do not wish to remain passive, but we want to act and to be protagonists and creators of our destiny. The Cornelian Stone pushes us to use all of our audacities. This card also indicates that a new love is about to come into our life. We must open our heart and let go of any shadow of fear. The Cornelian inspires loyalty and courage. It reduces stress as indicated for those who have a low vitality and self-esteem. In sentimental situations, it helps with the conquest. Okay. So you guys do got a new love coming in. I promise this card didn't came out for y'all a couple of times. But that is what I have for you, Libra. If this helped, please don't forget to like, comment, the subscribe button, share, hit the post notification bell, and I will talk to you guys next week. Deuces.